Hi, I'm Brittany with Birth It Forward, Certified Birth and Bereavement Doula, Certified Yoga Instructor and Family Photographer. We are here today to do some yoga, obviously. Grab your mat, and if you are heavily pregnant, I highly recommend some blocks. If you are new to doing yoga, grab some blocks as well. And even if you're an old hat, go ahead and grab some blocks. You never know if you want to use them. Um, that's all we need today. So let's just start and we are going to work on releasing some of that fear and anxiety that comes with being pregnant and comes with motherhood. All right, so we're gonna start in our easy pose. If you're pregnant, go ahead and just hold on to your baby. Hold your stomach and be present. Begin to engage with baby and be here present with baby. Those of us who aren't and feel funny on our bellies, you can put your hands on your knees, touching your middle finger and thumbs together, or you're welcome to put your hands at your heart in prayer pose, prayer position. We're going to start with some Ujjayi breathing. Um, so we're going to start by taking a deep breath in through our nose for a count of four. We're going to hold it for a count of five, and then this is how I teach my kids. You take your hand and throw out. But instead of opening our mouth as we blow out, we're going to keep our mouth shut as we blow out. And it's still going to make that same sound. That is an ujjayi breath. Okay. So, and we'll breathe out for six. Remember to keep sitting nice and straight and tall. For those of you who are pregnant, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, you're welcome to sit on a block just to give yourself a little more support and a little more space. Keep connecting with that baby. Keep that breath going. Breathing in. Feeling that air spreading throughout your body. And breathing out. Breathing that air all the way down into your belly. As we breathe out, letting that stomach come in. Breathing out. On the inhale, we're going to breathe all the way down to the belly. And then the lungs will begin to fill. We're holding it, holding it. And then breathing out. And engaging that core. Feeling that baby. Great job, guys. Some good breathing here. All right, we're going to begin with the side stretch. So take your right hand to the floor. We're going to raise up nice and tall and begin to very gently just kind of lean over to your right. Go as far as your body tells you that you can go. If that's just right here, that is okay. Deep breath in and let it out.
On that inhale, come back up straight and tall, putting your hand to the floor. And let's do the other side. Deep breath in, straight and tall. Come back down. Feel that stretch all along your side. Feel that space opening up for baby. You can look to the floor or you can look to the ceiling. Come back up nice and straight and tall. Let's take just a couple breaths here while we resituate. For this next one, again, it's important on our twists that we stay nice and straight and tall, not letting your spine collapse. On our exhale, we're going to very gently twist. Those of you in late pregnancy, in your late second trimester or third trimester, just look towards your knee. Those of us who are early pregnancy or postpartum, feel free to go as far as your body will allow you to. Stay nice and straight and tall. Look back over your shoulder. Feel that twist. Feel that stretch along the shoulder of your left arm. Through your back. Release that tension in your spine. Release that tension in your shoulders. straight and tall. Let's turn toward our left knee. Again, just looking towards your knee, just start off with those of us on our next exhale. Look over your shoulder, keeping your back nice and straight and tall. And with each exhale, see how much farther you can go. If you can go just a little deeper, feeling that stretch all through the upper shoulders through your spine, keeping both sits bones on the floor. I don't know about you, but this feels wonderful on my shoulders. <laughs> Release that tension in your shoulders. On your next exhale, come back to center. start by doing a seated cat cow. So we're going to push our chest nice and forward, lifting our chin to the ceiling. And then on our exhale, we're going to tilt those hips forward. So kind of pick up your tummy, drop your chest into itself, curl around your baby. And we're just going to keep doing that for a few breaths. You just move with your breath, you don't have to move your feet. Waking up the muscles of our spines, the muscles of our bellies. Good job. A lot of tension in your shoulders today. Let's feel some stretch in our hips. And we're just going to take our hands to the floor. If you need to, open your legs just a little wider especially those of you who are heavily pregnant with a big old belly. Open those legs just a little wider. If all you can do is put your hands on the floor, that is okay. Those of us, you can go a little farther. Just walk your hands forward. Stop when you feel tension. Take that deep breath. And on the exhale, see if you can move just a little farther. Walk around just a little more. 
and you slowly into your fold, keeping your back nice and straight and tall, and show you from the side. Let your head drop to your chest. It will curve your back a little bit. Good job. Come back up. And let's switch legs. I'm going to switch sides too so I can see my hip. And again, make that space in between legs and your belly as you need to. Try and keep that Ujjayi breathing instead of blowing the air out. Good deep breaths. Allow your body to relax into the palms. Just inching those knees forward. Dropping your chin to your chest. Slowly come back up. Okay, let's make our way to our knees. We're going to create some space here. Start with another cat cow. You're dropping your belly to the floor, raising your head to the ceiling. Taking a nice deep breath in. Breathe it out, tucking your hips, pushing your shoulders up to the ceiling. Next, exhale. Instead of arching our backs, we're going to take our elbows to the floor. Open those legs up. Take those elbows down to the floor. You might find that you would like a block for your chest to put your chest on. Move it. Now push that chest all the way to the floor opening and making space for baby in our puppy pose. The black will just allow you to fully relax into that pose. Give your breath here and we're going to rise. Good job. Tuck those toes. And we're going to come into a down dog. So tuck those toes, take a breath, and on that exhale, begin to engage your core and push your bottom into the air. If you need to, feel free to bend those knees so that your elbows and your arms can be closer to your ears, keeping those shoulders down. And then we're just gonna head over our feet better to have your legs bent than straight. We want our back straight. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Now try and hold that position. Good job. Let's come back down. And 
you're going to come down into a high cobra. So just lower your hips to the floor. Arching your back. Child's pose. I'm just going to add some movement. And move back down into Cobra. To Child's pose. To Cobra. A child's pose. We're going to come into our tabletop. We're going to open that chest and thread the needle here. Stretch those shoulders out. Legs slightly parted so that balance. That's okay. Touching the floor if you can, or touching your calves, ankles, maybe you're at your knees. That's okay. We're gonna roll up, nice and slow. Deep breath in at the top. Put your arms up and the boot, and do a very gentle arch back. Lower our hands, we're going to come down back into a forward fold. Come up halfway. Step down. Keeping one hand on the floor, take your left hand and raise it to the ceiling. You can look down at your hand, or you can turn even more and try and open that chest more the ceiling. into a high plank and lower those hips to the floor or cobra again. Push back into a child's pose. And slowly come back up. Tuck those toes into down dog. Let's do a three leg dog. Raise that right foot. Open those hips and drop the tail. Close the hips and put that foot back down. Raise your left foot. Open the hips. Drop the tail. Raise it. Close and bring it back down back down to hands and knees, the tabletop. 
good job. Let's spread those knees nice and wide, tucking your toes. We're going to pull back. Open those feet just a tad wider so that you can put your heels down or feel free to roll up the back of your mat and give you some support underneath your heels. Or you can even take a block and put those back behind your heels. Try and get your back nice and straight here. Try and get those heels to the floor. And then put your hands in heart pose. And, oh, sorry, at your heart in prayer. <laughs> Deep breath. As we open those hips, releasing that tension. Putting your hands to the floor. Raise yourself up to a forward fold again. Your feet not width apart. Come up halfway. On your exhale, go back down. And let's just begin to slowly rise. Arms to the ceiling. Bring them down to your heart. And down back the mountain. Bring those feet in. Deep breaths here. You have done a great job today. Thank you for joining for a yoga session connecting with your baby releasing that fear and anxiety of pregnancy and being a mother thank you again for joining me I'm Brittany with Birth It Forward I'll be here every Friday come and join me again thank you